Good afternoon, standard two. How are you? Have you had your lunch? Are you full now? If you are full, I think you are ready for your art lesson today. Okay, for your art lesson today, you need to be able to produce a 3D caterpillar with its own textures. Okay. So these are the materials that you need to prepare. You need your watercolors, you need your scissors, you need your glue, crayon, and A4 papers or any types of papers if you have around. Okay. And also your um, another paper for the base or the background or later on. Okay. So let's start. I'm going to move this thing aside first. Okay, so this paper will become the background later or the leaves that where the caterpillar is um, on. So first thing first, the textures of the leaf. Okay, I am going, you think of what color you're going to do. Are you going to use um, light green or dark green? So if you are using light green with the watercolor later on then you can use dark green as the texture okay the form or the line the outlines okay so i will show you what i mean okay for example i'm going to, to use this green this is um dark green and then take a texture that you want to use Yes, I'm going to use this. Okay. Right. I will be using the rubbing technique on this uh, this kitchen item here. You have this at home. This is a food cover. Okay. You don't have to do for the whole paper. Just some part of the paper. Imagine the size of the leaf later on. So, do your rubbing. Being okay. you can see that there the beautiful textures are coming out. Okay, can you see that? Wow, it looks so good. Okay, all right. So I think this is enough for the shape of our leaf later on. If not, then you can just add some more all the way right okay let's move this aside now you're going to cut this into a leaf form okay make it as um, realistic as you can all right so if you're not sure then you can use pencil first to do the marking okay so I'm going to use this type of leaf okay right, so now I'm going to cut it After this, we're going to prepare the the caterpillar's body. Okay, if you want to use the rubbing technique for the body, then you you may use the rubbing technique for the body, or you can also use the element of lines and shape to produce the texture. Okay, that is up to you to your creativity. Go all the way in.
Okay, so that's my leaf. Now, um, draw the lines over here. Something like this, maybe. Okay, your line. Bigger at the bottom. And then, smaller toward the end. Okay. Okay. So this one, you just paint it with um, green color. Any green that you want. I'm going to paint it first and then we will proceed to the next um, the body of the caterpillar. So I'm going to use this green. Light green over here. And use um, just a little bit of color. And don't use too much watercolor, okay? Make it as watery as you can because if you you put too much watercolor later on, it will cover the the crayon texture here. So you just want to make sure that everything is in green color over here. Okay, do you see what I mean? Right, you still be you are still able to see the the textures, right? So that is what I mean. Don't cover the textures with too much watercolor. Make your watercolor as watery as you can, but not too watery. Just um, enough consistency of water. Okay all the way until the top of the the leaf okay so i'm done with the painting just leave it um, dry first put it aside because now we're going to do the body of your caterpillar okay you want to make it colorful or just one color also can up to you okay so I'm going to use uh, two colors from my caterpillar today. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut this into um, half. Okay, just fold it like this first. Okay, then you cut it into half. I'm going to speed up this one so that you can save your viewing time. Okay, so standard three, cut this in um, the body of the caterpillar into three, and then after that, um, once it dried enough, then you can start folding it into a circle, like this one. Okay, you fold it into a circle like this, and it will become like a cylinder form, like this. Okay, you have to fold it carefully. Right, then take your glue. It has to be dried enough so that you will be able to glue it on. Okay. 
Okay, take your glue and then you glue it on. If you have stapler, you can use stapler also. Okay, then after that, you can put the color alternate, alternately. Okay, blue color. Okay, after blue, if you want green, a green, not not green. This is yellow, yellow. Okay, alternately until you have enough to cover the whole leaves. Okay, as you can see here, I already cut this leaves here to make it look like the leaves um, has been eaten by the caterpillar. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the body first. Okay, you put some glue over here and then you stick it on your paper. Stick it on your paper like this okay can you see and then next color the blue part of the body okay now the green part of the body hey why did i keep saying this green this is yellow the yellow part of the body okay I'm going to arrange it like this going this way like this okay and then if you notice I have also prepared the eyeballs <laughs> you can use googly eyes also and also the antenna of the caterpillar okay all right now I'm going to speed up this one again so that you can um, start with your work immediately later on. Okay, standard 2, that is the end of our lesson today. Okay, so I hope you can try this at home and um, don't forget to take the picture and turn in through your assignment or you can private chat it with me or you can share it in our art channel also. Alright, so this is the close-up of the caterpillar, the 3D caterpillar. As you can see, there is uh, leaf bits in the in the mouth okay you can use a googly eye if you want to and for this part over here the body of the caterpillar if you don't want to make it into a wavy line you can cut it straight okay or you can make the texture more um, if you want to have different texture that is up to you okay be creative right so you can start with your lesson uh, at work now don't forget to turn in and see you next week okay bye